Hi guys, thanks for joining me for this week's still water pattern. What you see in the vise is my rendition of the Grey Boy buzzer. So without further ado, let's get into it. In the vise then is a Hanak H310 barbless hook. This one's at size 12. It's on a heavy wire and it's in black nickel. Now the heavy wire is going to help us, I want quite a heavy fly here. Uh, the thread I'm going to be using today is the UTC Ultra, it's in 140 denier and as you can see it's black. Now uh, this is, there's a bit of a story behind this fly, I, I was chatting to a, a guy up when I was at Rutland the other week and uh, you know, I'm saying oh how are you doing, he goes oh you've got to get the grey boys on and I said the, the grey boys and he said oh the grey boy buzzer, now I knew obviously know what it is but I said, oh, I don't have any of them. <laughs> and he, he sort of looked at me like I had horns on my head. So uh, I thought I'd better remedy that, and I've sort of tied up this, which is not quite the grey boy buzzer, I suppose. So I've just cast on my thread up to about the thorax area, and I'm going to take away my rat's tail. Now, I've got some flexi floss here. It's on a reel. It's white. I've had it for years. I bought it from the the British Fly Fishing Fair one year, I thought, oh, that, that'll last me forever, and sure enough, it certainly has. So I've got a, a bit cut off already, and I'm going to attach that in up near the thorax area. I'm just going to get a couple of turns in, just to lock that into place, and then just come down. Now, I've got a little rat's tail there, which I'm going to come in and just trim off slightly. There we go. Now, at the same time, I'm going to bring down some copper wire. Uh, this is the UTC. As you can see, it's it's in small, and I already have a little piece of the wire pulled off, which I'm going to catch in. Now, I'm not bothered about the bulk I'm creating up here because I'm going to have a fairly large thorax. Now, when I come down, I want to start to stretch out the flexi floss just to get a nice taper. Now, by tying the ribbon, the copper ribbon at the same time, what I'm avoiding is any lumps or bumps near the bottom of the fly by catching that in later. So I've come right down around the bend of the hook. Uh, I want a nice curved buzzer and uh, I don't know if I've mentioned before in videos but I like to use curved hooks when I'm fishing the buzzers static and if I'm thinking about moving the buzzers I then like to fish with straight hooks. Uh, it probably makes little difference uh, but it's just a habit I've gotten into. So when I'm retrieving I use the old uh, straight shanked hooks. Static fishing, curved hooks. Okay, so I've brought my thread back up and the first thing that's going to come up is the flexi floss. Now I'm just going to bring my thread all the way to the eye to get it out of the way. Now with flexi floss, it's quite stretchy. I can, you know, do quite a lot with it. And initially what I want to do is very tightly wrap my flexi floss around the base of the fly and then as I come up I'll slowly release the pressure making it stand out a bit more from the body and what this does is it helps with the taper and if you look at a natural buzzer in the water you'll notice that it's quite heavily tapered from the thorax down to the tail so that's just what I'm trying to emulate or imitate, should I say, here. So I'll just bring my thread back a couple of turns to catch that flexi floss into place. Wrap it over. And uh, I can then, once I've trapped it in, I can remove it. Just another couple of turns. Nothing like that coming undone on you when you've already got that far. Now, next, the copper rib is going to follow the flexi floss up. And what I like to do with this is just turn it onto its side 
so I can see the path that it's taken and once you get it started actually it's fairly easy but I'll just keep going up the side like so and then I can revert my vice back round and you can get a better look at that and then again I'm going to catch that with a couple of turns of thread like so twist away the wire rib and then I can just think about tying in my cheeks now what I'm using for cheeks on this one is uh, the flow yellow vinyl cheeks uh, this, they're at 0 0.8 millimeters and they're from the fly den this one they're really good I've, I've got a piece off here that I've been working with and all I'm going to do is catch that in on my side first like so I'll just take enough as be able to fold it over there'll be a little bit of waste from each strip I generally get two buzzers actually and uh, I was saving all manner of little bits and bobs off of this thinking I could find something else to use it for but in the end uh, they've just gone in the bin I thought oh, they're just cluttering up my workspace I'm being too tight just be happy you've got two flies out of it and try and keep your fly tying kit a wee bit tidier so I'm just building up my thorax now I like to get a nice sort of rugby ball shape with all the sort of buzzer patterns I tie and with a 140 denier you can do that a lot quicker so I've got that into a nice shape that I like I'm going to pull my cheeks around over the front of the eye and then I can capture them in a couple of turns then with a sharp pair of snips you can just I've not left enough tag here really get in with your nail and you just need to get a little cut in these and they'll just peel away for you try and get it as tight excuse my fingers to the finish as you can and then just make sure you cover that up now once you've got that covered you can come in with your whip finish and the jobs are good in okay again uh, tying the fly is comparatively simple the, the, the labour intensive part if you like is all about the vanishing and uh, I'm going to explain it rather than do it it just takes up a bit too much time so I'll tie up a load to this stage I'll coat them in super glue leave them to dry for a while and then I'll come in with some UV resin this is the Solaris UV resin it comes with a little brush if you follow the channel I'm sure you've seen me use it multiple times and what you end up with is a nice shiny fast sinking buzzer um, I would fish this on the dropper though it's not really designed as a point fly although depending on rate of descent that you want it, it would do a job for you if you you're not in a big wind or and I'm obviously talking about fishing from a drifting boat but that's my rendition of the the um, the grey boy I'm sure there's lots of different variations out there uh, this is mine I hope I hope you enjoyed it uh, thanks very much for tuning in if you haven't subscribed to the channel please think about clicking that button in the corner there and I'll see you all next time